Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to do part B. But do that, I must understand why it's part A first. We are given a metric with eigenvalues 2, minus 1, and 1. We find the remaining eigenvectors beside the vector 1, 0, minus 1. And then from here, we're going to find a metric P, such that P inverse times A times P is a diagonal metric. How do we do this? All right, we must know some result of how to find P. In this case, from part A, we know that given the metric A, then we know that if I can value equal to 2, then the icon vector is 1, 0, minus 1. If the icon value is 1, we have the icon vector E2 is 3, 1, minus 1. If icon value is minus 1, then we have icon vector E3 is 1, 1, minus 1. This is the result obtained from part A. Now what we do is form a metric P using the icon vectors. So E1, E2, E3 as above the icon vector for different icon value. So let's call it P here. So E1 is 1, 0, minus 1. E2 is 3, 1, minus 1. E3 is 1, 1, minus 1. Each type of, each will take out one column. Then after you form this P, then P inverse AP will be equal to D, where D is diagonal now. In this case, what is D? D is equal to 2, 1, minus 1, where 2 is the icon value for E1, which is icon value for 1, 0, minus 1. And 1 in the second column is the icon value for E2, which is 3, 1, minus 1. And minus 1 in the third column is the icon value for E3, which is 1, 1, minus 1. Now, I can call up the calculator to verify that P inverse AP is equal to D. So let me call my calculator to do the calculation for you. So I call the calculator. Now I'm in the actually in the calculation mode now. You can say actually this is a manual run metric, right? Execute. Then now I want to input the metric now. So I press F1. So I want to enter the metric A, so I do F3 for dimension. Then I say 3 row, 3 column. Enter. So now enter the entry for A. 2, minus 3, 0 in the first row, and 1, minus 1, 1 in the second row, minus 1, 3, 1 in the third row. So this is metric A. So let me exit now to enter the metric P now. I'm going to enter metric P into my second metric B. So I'm going to call up, go down, and enter dimension for B now. B will be stored my metric P now. So this one is a three row, three column. And I enter the first row of P now, one, my three, one in the first row. 0, 1, 1 in the second row, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 in my third row. So I can, after finish, I press exit. Alright, and then I exit again. So now I'm ready to cal do calculation. I need to find P inverse AP. So in my metric now, P is stored inside B. So I'm going to use option, press F2 for metric. Now, metric A, press F1 for metric A. I want a metric B now. B is for BP. So F, and now I control alpha B, metric B now. I want to get P inverse, so I must shift the here to get inverse. So, metric B inverse. Now I'm going to multiply by metric A. So I press F1 for metric alpha A, then a times. Now P again, P is stored inside my, inside my calculator at metric B, I press F1 for metric, and then alpha B. So afterward, I will just press EXE and see what you get. 
you say the metric is 200010100 minus 1, which verify this, that D is equal to this one, right? So I have actually verified the answer by using my calculator. That is the end of the recording.